Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Robbie, and uh, just wanted to point out my new setup right here, which if you've seen anything I've posted online or whatever, um, it should actually still be familiar to you. But the new part um, is this Sim 7, CEM 70G, and I'm gonna be bringing it out and testing it tonight uh, for the first time. Uh, hopefully the clouds have uh, cleared. I know most parts of the United States and Canada and other places, they're in the midst of a grueling winter snowstorm, but I'm in California and God, God forbid, you know, we're supposed to get some uh, cloud that uh, will be going away. Um, there's actually a break in the clouds now. It's about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, p.m. Pacific time, right in the second, but uh, on a Tuesday. But um, this evening, we'll see what we can get. I'm anxious to try out this mount. I've uh, been doing some study and research on it and doing some other things, getting some stuff ready. And so I'm just gonna give it a shot tonight. I do need another counterweight right here. I need a second one. Um, for this rig at this moment, um, this is my GT81. I've had it on my IE Q30 Pro. This mount, no problem using it. Um, this isn't the uh, mount I got it for, but I'm just using it tonight because I just have this one counterweight. Um, so I'm going to be just testing the functionality, see how it goes, get a, give it a trial run, and uh, see, how, see how I like it. Um, this pier that it's mounted on, I've, I've bought the pier for this uh, Sim 70G, but um, I had used it previously on my EQ30 Pro while I was waiting on the mount to show up. So finally, I, you know, I had taken it off that and uh, put this one on. And then the IEQ30, which is a great, my just great general purpose mount, especially for this scope. Um, you know, I can have it, I'll have it set up and it's back on the, on the sturdy tripod that, tripod that I had it on originally. It does fine. I just happen to like this pier, so I might get another one. Um, but it's, it's a great pier. And in this case, this pier too, I did, I used to have the pier down lower, um, closer ground, but you know, just to try to give it a little height over the tree line. Not, it's not a whole lot, but, um, you know, I did jack it up a little bit. It just gives me a little extra. Um, I'm in my spot right here. Got my power cords. So as you can see, I've got horses and alpacas and things behind me. So and goats, if you hear them, but yeah, I'm going to give this a shot tonight and, uh, see how it goes. This, uh, this setup has been pretty robust, been doing really well. So, um, we're going to use the ASI Air Pro on this one tonight. I am planning on this mount mostly hosting my brand new C11 Edge HD uh, Smith Caster Game telescope. But that's where I need the other counterweight. And I don't know when I'm going to get that. So I might go and do a hack <laughs> and go like to a uh, sporting goods store and get like some uh, Velcro arm and uh, wristbands and possibly wrap around here to give me some extra weight until my counterweight arrives which might be a month who knows and uh and just try that I, I need a little bit more weight on here for this for the set so um and my i have a c8 too a non-edge c8 which i would love you know i'll use it on here as well so and then my other um ieq 30 will run my refractors i have a red cat as well when i want to when i do want to run it when I'm not running the SETs, then I can I can share these mounts. But those are my two go-to mounts. I do have an AVX, so I run AVX mount, a small one. Uh, I took that to a friend's house, and then when I go over there, then I already have a mount ready to go. I just bring a scope. So that's my. And then if I really going out in the woods, then I have my Skyguider Pro. <laughs> but uh, you know, I like my go-to mounts a lot. So so let's just have a quick look at what I got. All right, so this particular one, from what I understand, see if I can get the camera mounted. Um, this is this has been moved. This um, USB three cord. Uh, a lot of mounts. I used to have them right here. If you can see my hand um, in the space, but they moved it up here. So that's a change. From what I understand. Um, looks like I might need some power. Uh, this is the. For iPolar. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to use iPolar tonight. I do need to polar align this mount. I've got a rough polar aligned right now to 347 degrees, but I need to do a polar alignment. So I will be bringing out my laptop tonight. Um, I might even try it over Wi-Fi right here. 
you know, have it going, have it hooked up. So we'll see how it goes. But I will uh, bring my laptop out and polar line this thing over Wi-Fi, and then I will uh, switch to the Air Pro. I could use the Air Pros, but I do want to. I want to try an iPolar. I think iPolar, since it's built into the mount, is more accurate, and it's an easy, easy thing to do um, with a laptop pretty comfortably. So I think I think that'll be nice. Um, I guide. I, the eye guide thing, um, you know, if I have an Eagle F Core 4 coming for this mount. I'm setting it up now. I've already got it. Uh, when I get that going, then I might use the guider for that for some applications. For my SETs, it won't be enough. I'll use an OAG. But uh, so we'll see how eye guider goes. I'll, I will use it just so I can get some uh, practice on it. But you know, and then the, there's the USB ports up here for the mount. I'm not using them yet, but I will at some point when I need to. Uh, so anyway. And then, of course, my trusty hand controller. I have already set the zero position on this mount, which is required of Ioptron. So you need to set the zero. When you first power this mount on, you need to, you know, park the scope where it belongs up here. And then you need to set the zero position here on the hand controller. Um, and then this scope basically is at square one. GPS is ready to go. This scope really knows where it is right now um, for the most part. Uh, so the initial plate solving on the Air Pro up here can then work. So that's the whole point of that. And then you can you can fine tune it with plate solving and sink in the mount afterwards. But if you tell it to go to a star tonight, it'll know where that star is just by GPS and and uh, being at the zero position. The smart this telescope is smart enough to uh, ascertain a few things about star alignments. So so it's really good there. So anyway, I'm ready, I'm excited. Um, I will complete this thing when I get the rest of my counterweight situation settled. And I gotta get a few more parts for those SETs too. I gotta get a dovetail plate um, that sits on the top so I can mount accessories on those SETs. So I'm sorting that out right now. I don't have them yet, so I'm not really ready to bring it out yet. Um, I can bring the C8 out. Um, I have like a, I have like a little uh, bracket on there, like a, dual bracket it has a little 30 millimeter guide scope it's that's not really designed for SETs but it 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 suffices temporarily to get gets me where I need to be so anyway there we go clear skies hey everybody this is Robbie again um, I'm not here at night um, it's about 10 30 11 p.m ish right now uh did some testing with my uh gt81 and the sim 70g and went pretty good clouds rolled in i had a few minutes where i could do some testing um i have some questions about ipolar i couldn't get power to the camera there for some reason so i'm gonna be um in studying that investigating that further also my guide camera never showed stars very well and never got focus but that could be due to the clouds um, as well so not the best of nights I got great focus and views on my main imaging camera got the moon a little bit just playing around um, but uh, you know the the, the uh, mount slewed a little bit I had some problems with power cords popping out and rebooting and some, things, some silly things like that with cables but I think I got my cables secured and wrapped for the most part and I've been slewing around pretty well now and plate solving and that sort of thing. So that's some little knickknack things I need to go work out. But um, uh, tonight's pretty much done. Uh, the cloud's coming in and I can't do it anymore. So. But it was a good, good first outing on the Sim 70G. And uh, there'll be more to come once I, uh, you know, settle into this mount. So. <laughs>